Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Now before I get started, let me explain a few things. Thought there was a save point? Well, there wasn't. So if you go off to the left and jump into a portal, you go to the Sertio place and they say they might as well just wait for Dart and Rose. And then the scene cuts away to Dart and Rose. I understand that we lost everybody because the dragon attacked us, but why? Why did your vassal dragon attack us, Rose? Was it to bring the two of us here? The place filled with dragons? Whoa, what is that? I think. We will find out. Soon. Let's go. Either to destroy the Virage embryo, or to fight against Zeke. I need everybody with me. Rose. Don't be so shocked. I trust everybody, too. <clears throat> This place seems like an old Mount Mortal dragon. Rose, what are these? This is a baby dragon. It's called a Suedo dragon. It seems everything, including the future and past, exists here. My favorite Suedo dragons didn't make it to the present age, but I am encountering the past now. But we don't have time to be sentimental. Let's go. Alright. Okay, so she doesn't follow us anymore. That following thing kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, we'll get there soon enough. Uh, Night Raid. Don't really want that. Because our next boss is Shadow Property. And we don't want. No, no. Do not want. Alright, so let's make it <clears throat> up here. This will lead to a scene, I believe. I knew it. I know this place. It's where I met Michael for the first time. I see. Darkness Dragon. Sorry, we don't have time. <clears throat> So there are multiple dragons of the same element. Wingleys are mighty, mighty enough to annihilate us and the entire species. So you have to kill the real dragon in order to get a dragon spirit, and then the dragon forms into a dragon vassal or whatever. In order to liberate humans, we have to sacrifice you, dragon. Now is the time to decide, extinction or war. Huzzah! We chose war. See, and turn into a little baby. The dragoon spirit left by the darkness dragon, and this newborn dragon will be the spearhead of the war. This baby needs a name. Black burst dragon, Michael. That's so random. <laughs> How about Michael? <clears throat> Rose's vassal dragon, the darkness dragoon, and the black burst dragon, Michael. It's a good name. It's so Americanized. So now we can go. Yes. The real war has not started yet. But so is Albert. Oh, yeah. But, eh, whatever. Whoa. Michael, don't you recognize me? Oh, shit. So this is Rose's special boss, Michael. But Dart tags along. Oh god, oh this thing hurts. Oh god, oh Jesus. Does nothing to Rose, since uh, Dirt has a legend cast. And that's Hardblade. Sorry about the Skype beep if you heard it. Come on now. Zero? Stop doing zero. Now here's this thing about the boss. It doesn't get hurt by attacks any form. I sound like William Shatner. Alright, 
Michael, it's me, Rose. Don't you recognize me? It seems not to be working. It's out of control, just like last time. He forgot the pride of the dragon and turned himself into a mere raving beast. It has a wildness even beyond that of Fairbrand. Damn! Alright, so what you want to do is just guard until uh, Rose keeps talking her brains out. <sighs> Ow. <clears throat> Nothing special about this. And then eventually she'll reveal his weak point. But she doesn't want to, which is the stupid thing. So it's like she wants to die. But whatever. Just keep guarding. It's the best way out of this. What a dragon! It yields to neither sword nor magic. The darkness dragon is the strongest dragon of all, having the best attack and defense, along with having the best agility. I don't need to hear about it. Is there any way to defeat him? Uh, that's kind of funny. It's the best dragon. Well, what about the divine dragon, the king of dragons? You would think that the king of dragons would be better, but I don't know. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Rose. Maybe you're just being, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> Oh, you're just playing favorites. I just say that. After all, it is your dragon and whatnot. Alright, just keep guarding. Kind of boring. Michael's shell is special armor for the darkness dragon. It repels any attack by the enemy. What should we do? Come on, Rose. There's only one blind spot. What is it? Tell me now. And she refuses to tell us. Horse. God, no! Okay, never mind. Not the attack I thought it was. But that attack is cool, alright? I've never seen mist just explode like that. Yeah, nothing to see here. Oh, jeez. Ow. Come on now. Don't be like this. Will you please talk already? God, what should I do? To break the blind spot. Why, of course. After he shoots the black laser, his defense falls for a second, showing his heart. That's his only weak spot. Heh. <laughs> it said weak like the days of the week. Ha. <laughs> you can go back and pause that if you didn't see that. Alright, well, we can't do anything right now. So we'll just guard until he uses that stupid laser attack. Oh, come on, really? Use your stupid laser. Fire your laser. You know you wanna. Alright, we'll provoke him. Fire your laser! Please. She sounds so... How would I put it? Eh, whatever. I don't know. Seem to be at a loss with words today. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Who's that stupid laser? Making me waste time when I don't need to. Laser? Yes, laser! Oh god, this attack just looks like it hurts so bad. Poke. Kaboom! That hurts the ears. That's like supersonic crap going on. It's nuts. Alright, here's the core. Thank god we have dope. Lots of damage. Yay. And it's over. Yep, that's bad. He doesn't have much HP. I guess vitality wasn't his strong point. Lots of experience. Yay. Hmm.
A dragon's body is capable of enormous endurance, but its heart is not. <clears throat> After many fights, it becomes savage and starts to blindly attack people, and in the end, it won't listen to the orders of dragoons either. That's why I killed Michael. I killed him with these hands. So she killed her vassal dragon in the past. That's enough of looking back at the past. You have lived for 10,000 years because you didn't want to see the future to be destroyed. <clears throat> right, Rose? You are right. Thank you. You reminded me of what's important. And that ends this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. See you next time, folks.